In this video, we're going to look at this problem. Find the values of k such that the line of y equals x plus k intersects the circle with the equation x squared plus y squared equals 25. OK, so let's have a look at this. So let's draw a little diagram so we can visualize what's going on. So here is my circle. OK, so this is the circle centered to the origin with radius 5. Minus 5, 5, minus 5. OK, so the line y equals x plus k is a line with gradient 1. And it's going to be something like this. And any line da, 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 all the way through the circle until I hit the edge again. OK, so both those lines are meant to be parallel. Um, and... They are tangents to the curve, OK, to the circle. So I need to find the values of k, which allow us to do that. So actually, because plus k is the y-intercept, um, it's actually from that value there down to that value there. So I need to find out what those values are, OK? Now, when you're doing the intersection of two functions, um, the way to think about this is that intersection requires the x and y values to be the same at those points. So effectively what you're doing is that you will be solving simultaneous equations. Intersections, simultaneous equations. So I need this line and that circle to be the same, have the same value of y. And so I'm going to substitute the line into the circle x squared plus y squared, so x plus k all squared, is equal to 25. So I'm going to expand out that left-hand side, x squared plus x squared plus 2kx plus k squared equals 25. I'll, I'll subtract 25 from both sides. Let's get everything onto one side of the equation. So I've got 2x squared plus 2kx plus k squared minus 25 equals 0. Now, eagle-eyed among you should now be seeing that and going, ah, this is a quadratic, it's got k involved, discriminant's probably going to be involved as well. Because ultimately, I need this quadratic to have real solutions, OK? So that means the discriminant has to be greater than or equal to 0. So the line intersects the circle, and that implies that the discriminant must be greater than or equal to 0. Now, the question doesn't say, doesn't say uh, intersects it at two distinct real points, um, or two distinct uh, points. Uh, in which case, if it was that, then I'd be saying greater than zero. But because it just says intersects, I'll go with greater than or equal to zero. So the line could be a tangent. So for us, we've got A, B, and C. So A is 2, B is 2k, and C is the k squared minus 25. So I'm going to substitute that into B squared minus 4C is greater than or equal to zero. 2k all squared take away 4 lots of a times c is got to be greater than or equal to 0. So expand this out, I get 4k squared, then I've got 4 times 2 times k squared, so take away 8k squared, and then 4 times 2 times 25, so 50, so it's 200, isn't it? So plus 200 is greater than or equal to 0. So minus 4k squared plus 200 is greater than or equal to 0. Let's divide through by minus 4. So k squared minus 50 is less than or equal to 0 now because um, I've divided through by negative. So this is going to be a parabola that is intersecting the x-axis, or the k-axis, in this case, at uh, minus root 50 and plus root 50. OK, so um, 
um, what's that, minus 5 root 2, so root 50, yeah. 5 root 2 and minus 5 root 2. And it's asking where is the graph below or equal to the x-axis? There. So the answer is uh, minus 5 root 2 is less than or equal to k, which is less than or equal to 5 root 2. So these points here must be minus 5 root 2 and positive 5 root 2 on our diagram. Okay, and so that's how we can use everything that we've learnt so far in order to solve uh, this complicated problem.